So we've talked about implicit and explicit time discretizations. There's also a class of time discretizations uh, that we'll call mixed methods. And we'll call them mixed methods because they are exactly that. They're a mix between explicit and implicit. And so what we'll do is we'll introduce an interpolating parameter, theta, that multiplies. So this, you know, theta is, is something between 0 and 1. So it, theta is going to multiply the, the explicit equation. I'll write out what it is in a second, right? But it's going to multiply the explicit equation. And then we're going to have a 1 minus theta that's going to multiply the implicit equation. And then the result is the mixed method. Okay. And so obviously, I, I wrote it like this just so that you can clearly see when theta is 0, then the first term cancels and you only have an implicit method. And when theta is 1, the second term cancels and you only have an explicit method. And so if we look at what actually happens when you write out the real equations and do some rearranging. equal to so then this guy we can rearrange a little further put all the n plus 1 values on the left hand side and all the values of n on the right hand side. We have something like that. And so, of course, then to solve this, you'd have to invert this guy, right? Uh, move it to the other hand side. But in the form that it's in, I again, it's obvious um, that if theta equals to 1, then you have only the explicit method. So basically, if theta equals to 1, this first term cancels, leaving only b. And, and b, uh, can, we can easily take the inverse and move it to the other side, uh, and we'll end up with the, with the exact same equation as the explicit method. Okay, So one special case of this is uh, for theta equals to a half. For theta equals to half, this method is then called the Crank-Nicholson method. And we could have derived the Crank-Nicholson method without this sort of interpolating parameter by just simply using a central difference approximation to the time derivative. So if you remember, if you recall, we used a first, we used a, a, a forward difference approximation of the time derivative originally. Had we used the central difference approximation of the time derivative, that's the same thing as having theta equal to half in this formulation. And if you remember, So this would be evaluated at the sort of n plus a half <coughs> time step, right? 
And, uh, and if you remember, the central difference method has order delta t squared error, right? So this is second order accurate. And so that's one reason to use a mixed method, is that it's more accurate in time, right? So we, we use the central difference method to approximate our spatial derivative, so we already have second order error in space, uh, whether we are doing explicit or implicit uh, time integration. But we were limited to first order discretization error in time. Uh, now with this mixed method, or the Crank-Nicholson method, we have a second order accurate in time as well. So again, this is the final form of the mixed method. And <clears throat> you can see that you know, for any, any value of theta not equal to uh, 1, then you actually have to invert what's on the left-hand side here to solve the system of equations. So there's as much work involved as solving the implicit method, but, but you have a, a, a more accurate in time uh, discretization. So again, that's mixed methods.